have a short introduction for you before we actually get on to the main part of the day where I have a couple of questions. So first question, who has worked with 8-bit architecture? Who has actually worked with 16-bit microcontroller architecture? And who has actually worked with 32-bit microcontroller architecture? Okay. And more specific for the 32-bit architecture, who has actually used before the STM32? Does anybody remember 4-bit architecture? Because it still exists. There's still uh, one or two manufacturers out there still making them. So, so there's, there's lots of different architectures out there. Most people have normally moved architecture because they need extra performance or extra peripherals. Some of the larger peripherals do also naturally need the extra performance, but most people would have normally moved up the, um, the different architectures for performance wise. So for those of you who haven't made this progression yet, then when you think of a 32-bit architecture, you might be thinking, oh, this could get quite confusing. So you might, oh, do, do I really want to do it? It's too confusing. Or you might decide, oh, it's too scary. We don't need that type of uh, architecture. It's, it's not what we need. But when you look at the STM32 architecture that we have, it is quite logically laid out. So it shouldn't be that confusing. It might look it from all those different colours there on the diagram, but it shouldn't be that confusing. And with what we're going to show you during the rest of the day, this architecture is not something you need to be scared of. So it's actually easy fix together. You switch on the bits that you need as and when you need them, and then you can switch them off again. So it's quite a, a modular based architecture. So if you think of each of those color coded blocks as a module, you either use or don't use, switch on when you need it, switch off when you don't need it, then it is, it's not as scary as you think. So, so we're going to have a look at this particular architecture structure there, and we're going to show you the different features. And during the hands-on, we will use some of these peripheral blocks or these colored blocks for part of our application.